This is SAT test 4, non-calculator section question 11, dealing with a system of equations, one linear and one quadratic, so we have a non-linear system. The question is how many ordered pairs satisfy the system? There are two ways to do this. The first one is graphical and it's easier and faster. Looking at this parabola, I see its x-intercepts are positive 3 halves and negative 9. The y-intercept, when x is 0, negative three, 0 minus 3 is negative 3, 0 plus 9 is 9, negative 3 times 9 is negative 27. So I have a parabola going through these three points. It looks something like this. And that's accurate enough for a qualitative sketch, which will answer this question. Solving this equation for y, I get x minus 5 equals 2y, or 1 half x minus 5 halves equals y. This is a line passing through the x-axis roughly here with a shallow positive slope. I must have two points of intersection um, here and here if my parabola opens up and passes through the y-axis below the line. So the correct answer would be 2. But let's do this algebraically as well. Substituting the x expression in for x in my quadratic equation, I have y equals twice 2y plus 5 minus 3 times 2y plus 5 plus 9. Distributing, I have 4y plus 10 minus 3 is plus 7. 2y plus 5 plus 9 is plus 14. FOIL gives me y equals 8y squared plus 14 times 4 is 56y, plus 7 times 2 is 14y, plus 7 times 14 is 98. Subtract y from both sides and combine the y terms on the right. 0 equals 8y squared, plus 70y minus 1y is 69y, plus 98. I could use the quadratic formula to find the exact answers, but they're not asking for the solutions. They're asking just how many. So I'm going to use the discriminant. b squared minus 4ac is the discriminant. If this is greater than 0, there will be two solutions, verifying what I found graphically. If it's equal to 0, there's only one solution. And if b squared minus 4ac is negative, there are no real solutions to complex conjugate solutions. So this would be 69 squared minus 4 times 8 times 98. And that's kind of ugly. I could use estimation, but I've already essentially used estimation for the graphical approach. So let's do it exactly. 69 times 69 is 1. 9 times 6 is 54. And 8 would be 62. 6 times 9 is 54. 6 times 6 is 36, and 5 is 41. 4, 7, 6, 1, minus 4 times 8 is 32, times 98. 2 times 8 is 16, 19. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 9 is 27. Three one three six and four seven six one minus three one three six is greater than zero, so we in fact have two solutions. Come back soon for my next SAT math video. With math, there's always more.